I have never invested in the stock market ever or even knew anyone who did. The closest I came is when my parents had 14 shares of General Motors that they received after many years working for the company. They hawked the stocks very quickly and spent the money and that was the last I thought about any stocks. Then I took personal finance at University of Michigan Flint. When I took algebra, the things the teacher taught seemed pretty easy, straightforward, until we got to the word problems, which I hated, and then things got very sticky. Personal finance is like taking the part I hate the most about math and highlighting it. Finance class seems to be all word problems. So at the beginning of the class I thought I died and went to math hell but the more I tried I started to grasp more of the concepts. Same thing with Investopedia. All I heard were the horror stories of people losing everything trading online, which makes me a bit apprehensive to the stock trade. This class showed that it's not some scary situation you just have to manage your money correctly and you can trade online or through a broker. My first trade from my $10,000 startup in September was a company with symbol CWEI, Clayton Williams Energy, Inc. I went with that company because of the numbers on a stock symbol list, http, colon slash slash, com, slash symbols, dot aspects. It indicated that the company had been making money for days so I thought it was a safe bet. I bought 50 shares at $102.20 on September 25th. 2014 and I watched it plummet for 15 days until I finally decided to sell it. By that time it had decreased in value, dwindling down to $87 per share. I learned very quickly that when it comes to the stock market there is no safe bet. Man I lost almost $700 including commission fees but I kept my head in the game. Then I decided to stick with investing in an energy company. I mean everyone needs energy right? Well that doesn't mean that it's a good investment. Not necessarily. I went back to my stock list where I located the Miller Energy Resources, Mill. Again they had good number stock gaining value instead of losing it. I bought 25 shares trying to play it safe. Last trade I got 50 shares, at $3.96 per share. I had a feeling because of the cheap price of the stock that it was not a good bet. I thought about it for a day or two and went back to invest op DDI and bought 50 shares of SHG. Shinhan Financial Group Company Limited, and hung on to the stock for almost 22 days. Then I heard my finance teacher say I should invest in something I know or use frequently. Well at the time I was working at Target so I decided why not. I'll invest in the company I work for I bought 25 shares at $60.86 per. At this point I own shares in three companies TGT, SHG, and Mill so I thought I would trim the fat, cut the dead weight streamline my portfolio and such. So I sold Mill on October 23rd for $3.73 per, plus commission. I lost $21.73 on that deal. I still had my hopes riding on Target and this energy company. TGT actually gained value when I sold it November 6, 2014. The price per share was $61.33 so I actually made $4.23 on that one even though it's not much. I was just happy it wasn't a loss. Days went by and I heard what the other students who are doing well in the simulation was investing in and instead of following them I wanted to do well while finding my own path. So I sold SHG at 45.97 at an increase in value, $50.02. Good deal and bought BTU Peabody Energy Corp. The same day out of desperation to not fall behind the rest of the class, I spent $2,920 on 300 shares at $10.94 per share. The company had some ups and downs but I made a conscious decision to stick with this company since I hadn't done so well in the simulation thus far. My buying power was not the beat because I made so many trades that the commission fees alone dented my capital let alone the investment losses. I thought to myself what is a good investment and I remembered all these ladies in DC when I lived there that they loved Nordstrom's and that their favorite place to shop. So I invested in JWN. I bought the stock at $76.75 per share where I thought I was on the right track. After 8 days of wavering it started to fall I wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible, but I didn't I held on to it in case it went up and I only had 50 shares. When I first started I thought that was a lot of shares. Anyway, 
BTU was my main investment so I continued to watch that stock. I realized it's the holiday season so I invested a meager $870.69 in Walmart WMT. At $86.27 per share for 10 shares I was involved with the most notorious and hated store in North America. I owned this stock for one day and it fell two whole dollars per share at that point I got upset and on December 3rd. 2014 I sold all of my stock, BTU fell a whole dollar and JWN, Nordstrom's, fell a whole dollar, boy do I know how to pick them, I tried my best to be patient but who knows how patience factors into this racket, after 14 transactions I am down from $10,000 to an account value of $8,795.44, I lost over $1,300, and my ranking out of the two classes is 81 when I was at 74 last week. My overall percentage sits at minus 12.77% but I did receive an award though. Don't ask me how. A bull with 200 points earned. Self pat on the back. The best part about taking this class was the online trading experience. Which was very cool. In conclusion. I'm glad I got the experience of online trading. I needed this experience in order to deal with things of this nature. My family thinks the stock market is the devil but if I ever do it for real at least I know the real risk involved. Money-wise I ended with 8,795.44 equals minus $1,204.56 10,000 equals minus 0.120456 or minus 12% in other words I didn't do very well at the experiment. Overall I lost money but let's see how I did compared to the Dow. When the market closed on my birthday December 8, 2014 the index was 17,852.48. We started this experiment on September 10, 2014 and the index was 17,016.05. If we do the math that's 17,852.48 17,016.05. Equals 836.43 17,016.05 equals 0 0.04915 or 4.915 or round it up. 5% increase in the Dow index, compared to my numbers I even got killed by the Dow. Minus 12% decrease compared to a 5% increase. I may be a little hesitant to try this with my hard earned money. Thank you for watching, and please, like and subscribe.